Happy Monday. What's up, guys? I haven't done a a um, a show, a podcast, whatever you want to call it, from my desk in a while. It's been a so far just an amazing year. It's going to continue to be a great year, um, especially when you manifest and you believe, and also you put in the action and you put in the work. And you have a positive attitude, and you just take it one day at a time. That's why. That's how I live. A lot of people ask me. Courtney, what's your end game? Courtney, what do you think about next week? What do you think about next month? And I said, I don't focus on that. I focus just on today, what's in front of me, right? So today, great productive day. Had the opportunity to go out and assist a uh, client that found me actually on Facebook. And they um, wanted me to come in and screen and recoat their floors. Job went by amazing. My networking partner, Aaron, Aaron uh, came and assisted me on the job, so we had a great time, great fellowshipping, a lot of talking. And on the way to the back to the shop, me and Aaron was talking, and he said, yeah, man, I got this sanding job that's coming up. And he said, man, one of the things that I have to stop doing, I have to stop judging, you know, what a customer or a potential client is going to spend based off what I was spend. Think about this, guys. I used to be a victim of that, all right? And I see so many entrepreneurs, they get into business and they don't reach their potential. They don't make as much money as they can, okay? They don't make as much profit as they can, all right? And for some reason, this can be something that can definitely hold you back. This can be something, again, that can definitely keep you, all right, from making money. And for some reason, I'm not going to say a lot of people, but there are people out here who are afraid to talk about money and profit and numbers. It's almost like it's, they get scared of it. And I'm like, this is a part of life. No matter if you own a business, you got to, we all need money. We all need the resources, all right, to take care of ourselves, to pay our bills, to eat, all right, to take care of our families, to enjoy life. You need money, and I don't understand why people are so afraid of talking about it when it's something that you need, all right? And when Aaron told me that, I'm like, man, you are so right, because I used to be that way. One of the worst things you can do in business, okay, in business is dictate what another person will spend based off what you think you will spend or the value that you see in that service or product. And I'm going to tell you guys, as entrepreneurs, sometimes we devalue our sales more than the client. Yes, you, you, some of you guys devalue yourself more than the client. Sometimes your clients have more value in you than you do. All right, and I'm gonna share. And Aaron told me today. He said, "Yo, know, Courtney, um, it's it's so amazing. All right, how you can create a network of individuals. Where's that book? One of my clients, long time ago. He, um, I keep a lot of great books. This book is called The Go Giver. If you guys have not read this book, this is an amazing book." One of my clients, he lives in a, a golf course community and up in uh, Monroe. And about maybe, I was still cleaning carpets, maybe about five, six years ago. He said, Courtney, there's a book called The Go-Giver. I, I really want you to go read this book because you remind me a lot of that book. And what it is, is this one individual, he started networking with different people. And he built this, this great empire of just networking with people, right? And today, Aaron, uh, I heard Aaron booking a job, a sanding job. He said, yeah, man, I got a sanding job. I want to start uh, Wednesday, and it's $5,000. And he said, I got that job from Bobby, and then Christian is going to go in and move the furniture for the client. Well, guess how Aaron met Bobby? Through me. Guess how Aaron met Christian, the furniture moving guy? Through me, all right? And we all network. You know, and I have other guys that I network with. My buddy Chandler, Chad, my buddy Reggie. Um, I have a lot of guys that I network with, right? And and Aaron said, man, you know what's funny is, Courtney, the client didn't say until after the fact. He said, I told her it would be $5,000. He said, well, 
after I quoted her, she said, "Wow." Well, Shane told me it was going to be about seven thousand, <laughs> and she was and she was expecting to pay seven thousand, but just because Aaron looked at the house, looked at I don't know, I don't know how you know, but he he even realized that he lost he lost money because he did not value himself as much as the client did, right? And I told Aaron this. I said, Aaron, check this out. You have to realize. When you come through a referral, when another contractor refers you, there's a lot of value in that. Like the client does not have to go looking for someone else because a, a, a contractor or a company that they know that they have a relationship with refer you to them, there, there, there is so much value in that. So, for example, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to do, I'm going to restore a brand new floor, okay, in Alpharetta, Georgia, brand new townhome. Woo! It's four stories, but thank God it has an elevator, all right? And I'm going to go restore that floor tomorrow. Well, you know how the builder, the, the, the builder contacted me directly. You know how they heard about me? Through the manufacturer of the floor, Shaw. Shaw Flooring Manufacturer referred them to me, okay? God, there's a lot of value in that. So why would I shorten myself? Why would I devalue myself when I came through a powerful referral source, all right? So all I want you guys to understand and remember, especially as entrepreneurs, all right? Start valuing yourself more, all right? A lot of us, again, we look at our situations. We look at how we view things, how we value things. Oh, I wouldn't spend that. That ain't worth that. But guess what? Just because you wouldn't spend it, just because it's not worth it to you, does it not mean it's not worth it to, uh, the, to the next person? And this is on a everyday scale. You might not go out there and buy uh a Ferrari or a Rolls Royce, but people go out there and buy them every day. You might not go out there and spend thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars on a Rolex watch, but I have a lot of clients who have Rolex watches. All right, <laughs> you might not go out there and buy a house for a million dollars, but people live in million dollar homes every single day. All right, so that's the thing, guys. I just want to share that message, man. Start learning how to value yourself, even if you don't see the value in it. All right, don't let that. That thinking, that 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 judgmental thinking of just because I want to spend it, or just because I can't afford it. That's where a lot of things come down to. Oh, just because we think, just because we can't afford it, can't nobody else afford it? Again, that's not true. That's why we have options. All right. And I tell people, it's in front of you every single day. You can go stay at the Motel Six for a hundred dollars a night or you can go stay at the Ritz Carlton okay for five hundred dollars a night all right you can go fly basic and, and get a hundred dollar seat or you can fly first class for a thousand dollars a seat people have options all right and that's one thing we have to understand so guys again entrepreneurs start banging yourself stop stop shortening your your profits that's why you're in business, man, to make profit. And you want to make as much money in the shorter periods. Of now, I'm not saying this, okay? You want to make as much money in, in, in the least amount of time. Now, I'm not saying go out there and take advantage of people and price gouge. But at the same time, you will never know how somebody else value you until you try. All right, guys. See you in the next one.